What's up everyone, back for another beer mail and today I'll be unboxing yet another beer mail courtesy of Jeremiah from Hot Butcher. So first things first, thank you very much Jeremiah, I truly do appreciate it. Now this is the second box of beers that Jeremiah has sent from Hot Butcher. He hit me up about a month ago and was like, hey, I wanna send you some beers. Uh, I wanna get your honest feedback on them. I really dug the two reviews you did uh, that was sent to me from a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Jeff, AK No Jinx. And he did, he sent me a huge box of beer and I have reviewed all the beers he sent my way with the last one being posted yesterday. So the first box of beer, I have uh, completed all the reviews from them and I've hooked up some friends. And here's the thing. Hot Butcher makes really good beers. Now, I've had seven beers from them total, including the five that Jeremiah sent my way, and they were all quite delicious. I think my favorite from the last uh, box of beers he sent uh, it was a tie between the Lord Octopus and their Thunderbolt, both delicious beers, but I liked them all. Even the Filetto, the Italian style Pilsner, I still gave a 4.1 out of 5. And, you know, like I told Jeremiah, I'm going to be honest with my reviews. If I don't like something, I'm going to honestly, you know, say what I think about it. And he was like, yes, that's what we want. And it's really easy to say positive things about a beer that is well made. And all of the beers that Jeremiah sent last month, extremely well made and quite tasty. So uh, he sent me another box of goodies, as you can see in front of me. He sent me four four packs and two single cans of one of their Imperial Stouts. So let's uh, run through them real quick. So the first one over here is their Ribbit, and it is a Citra and Strata hopped milkshake a double India Pale Ale brewed with strawberry, kiwi, lime, and vanilla. I don't think I need to say anything else. That just sounds right in my wheelhouse. Now, there could be the potential that this goes sideways for me. There's a lot of ingredients. And milkshake IPAs for me are very hit or miss. I've had some that are just amazing and some that just kind of miss the mark. So I'm hoping this is delicious, but we'll see. But I'm really looking forward to that one because it sounds quite tasty. Next is their Stone Froze, which is a Citra and Medusa hopped triple India Pale Ale brewed with agave. So wow, agave nectar in this one. That's pretty awesome. Uh, triples from anybody uh, nowadays are... Some of my favorites, it's basically one of my favorite styles now. Other half, awesome triples. The triple they sent, the Blizzard of 67, which I, again, the review was posted yesterday. I really dug that one. So I'm thinking I'm going to enjoy this one, but we'll see. Uh, definitely sounds right in my wheelhouse though. Like I said, I've been loving triple IPs over the last month, or over the last month, over the last year or so. And uh, this just sounds like it has the potential to be one of the best within the box. Next is their Live from Chicago. This is a Simcoe, Citra, Galaxy, and HB, HBC... Uh, 692 hopped India Pale Ale, 6.75%. Now, I saw on Instagram, I think this is not going to be a hazy. This is going to be a clear beer. Oh my God, what happened? Clear beer? I'm looking forward to it because I it's just, again, not a lot of breweries nowadays are putting out any kind of clear beers. They're all hazies and, you know, they're using the New England style as a moniker, even sometimes it's not. I'm going to be interested in see how this one looks. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a clear uh, filtered IPA, uh, but we'll see to some degree what it looks like, what it tastes like, and give you my honest thoughts. Next, their Tavern Cut. Now, this is a Citra and Vic Secret hopped double IPA. And uh, yeah, sounds pretty good. Tavern Cut, I guess Tavern Pizza, you know, pizza from like a you know, tavern or, you know, a bar or whatever, basically bar pizza, probably the reason they named it Tavern Cut. Um, but yeah, these all sound quite delicious, but to me, out of all the things he sent, these two on the end, same beer, sound phenomenal. So what are they? Uh, what what are the two cans? They're the same beer, like I said. But this is their Fat Bear. This is a peanut butter imperial stout brewed with chocolate, ten and half percent. Now I've seen some people, some of my friends enjoy this one and drink it and say it's just absolutely amazing and mind blowing and delicious. And it's really fun to be able to try an imperial stout, even though it's you know kind of a I would say pastry, but it's an adjunct stout. Still want to try a stout from Hot Butcher. And we're going to get the chance to do so. So really cool. He sent me two cans of this. Uh, yeah, I just, I can't wait to get in all of these. Again, five unique beers, 18 beers in total. I just, yeah, I'm kind of speechless. Um, be on the lookout for reviews of all these beers over the next month to probably like five weeks. Got a lot of reviews I already got. I mean, if you watch my channel and you are a sub and uh, you watch most of my reviews and, and my beer mailboxes, I have a lot of beer. Jeff, the aforementioned Jeff sent me a huge box of beer. Um, a good friend of mine and a uh, viewer of the channel, Alex, said he's going to send me another box this week. So there's a lot of beer I need to drink, but I'm going to try to get to these as quickly as possible, post the reviews, and uh, hopefully 
enjoy every single one of these. Even if I don't like some of these, I'm still going to enjoy the chance to try them. So once again, huge thanks to Jeremiah for hooking me up with all these beers. Can't wait to get into them and uh, share some of the extras with uh, friends and family and people that enjoy this style and this type of beer, which is what type of beer? Fantastically well-made beer. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by. Be on the lookout for the reviews over the next, say, four to six weeks, we'll say. And uh, yeah, till the next one. Cheers.